Should I go back? It's super risky because if I fall in that, that's really deep. Whew. Just got some good old cilantro from the yard. Hell yeah, give me that. What's up, YouTube? Today we are heading up to Yosemite to go camp. We are probably halfway through. Woke up a little bit late today, but we slept in. I was just trying to get this glove on. I am, I am still one of those people who are living in 2020. <laughs> Super excited about this, but kind of bummed out that a lot of the places are closed in Yosemite, which kind of sucks because, you know, there's a lot to see in Yosemite, but unfortunately because of the snow melt, there's flood warnings, we can't go for the safety of Air One. I'm waiting for Whaley, she's taking a piss, or she's using the restroom, I should say. I'm not taking a piss, because we don't say that anymore. Got Navis with me. Navi, Navi! She just woke up from a nap, so she's ready to go. She probably thinks that we're almost there since we stopped, but we're only halfway there, baby. Sesame's not with us, she's at home, of course. She's gonna be alone at home, but we got the cameras on, so. We'll be checking up on her and everything, and we have family that live nearby. In case anything happens, we can always hit them up. Hello, madam. Hello. How was it? It was clean. Yeah. It was good. Oh, nice. I'm gonna take Navi to pee. Okay. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take my Should stuff to move? go pee. Should we move the car first then? Coming through with this big old bulky truck, everybody. Good luck, everybody else. Oh, you know what? I didn't clean the windshield. Apparently, the bathrooms were clean, so we'll see. We'll see how the men's side is. Ooh, them hot dogs looking good. The bathrooms were pretty clean. Usually at Love's, they're really clean. Oh, I gotta show you guys these because usually these at 7 Eleven, they look disgusting, but ooh. That's looking real good right now, but I just had a huge breakfast sandwich, so not gonna have that. But yeah, Love's is the place to go. Oh, what the heck? Are you driving? I can, but I'm so confused. Our car has like this crazy alarm that's... <laughs> as a thief, this would be your worst nightmare. But also, as a driver, it's also... Your worst nightmare. Your worst nightmare. <laughs> Ten more minutes. It's already looking so much more promising. And we got an engine light on. So that's great. Navi, where are we? Where is that? But, oh my god, it's so good to be back in Yosemite. We just got to the campsite and we are super super oh, oh I'm still a little too wide. <laughs> <laughs> too close, too close, not a good angle. And we're super happy, not because of the campsite. I mean that too, but the engine light. Gone! Only people who have these old cars would understand. That is the best feeling. Literally the best feeling. As soon as we park, Whaley's like, Oh, engine lights off! But guess what, guys? We realized we forgot all our tent poles. So we brought a tent that we can't pitch. You're and... too nice. We didn't forget. I forgot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to having everything in one bag. So when I grabbed it, I was like, Oh, everything is already inside. Turns out, it wasn't. We'll go check it out now, guys. She's so happy. She's ready. <laughs> hey, Navi. Are you, you ready? Oh, what we like to do usually when we get to a campground is scope out the whole campground and write down which campsites are the good ones. We like to do that and write it down to remember for next time. Oh my god, the drawers. I feel like we might have only about one more hours of one more hours, one more hour of sunlight. So I'm gonna Take advantage of the sunlight and get to cooking.
It's blue, pink, and purple. That's beautiful, dog. Gotta remember that sometimes. I know. Oh my goodness. Get him. Get him. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Lovey. <laughs> Lovey, go get it. Get it. Who's that? <laughs> I have an addiction to eating snacks right before bed. You always do that. It's 11. Oh, every night I want to eat snacks and I'm on my period. I just want to eat those cookies. Mm. It's kind of hard to see at night, but it's a pretty cool setup. <sighs> Dinner was delicious. We just packed up everything, put all the food and sense of things into the bear box. Feeling good. Feeling really good. The weather's great. Yeah, and this I just is the have the best weather we've had in a I know, while. I know. Well, no wind. Yes. <laughs> I know. The past like 10 times <laughs> that we went camping, every single time it was just super super windy. Every single time. I don't know why. It's so windy again. Every time I go camping, it just gets windy. But the camping god is like no wind? <laughs> no tent. <laughs> Oh, you know what? I could turn this on. Ooh, Ooh. Too bright, huh? <laughs> Most people get like the blue or white, and it's like. <sighs> <laughs> this yeah. is so bright, I cannot oh, see. Oh, sorry. Oh my god, there's a mosquito in here. I know. This alarm is so sensitive, and it auto locks once all the doors are closed, then it auto locks for in like a minute or something like that, 60 seconds. And then once it locks, anytime like there's vibration it just when i first got it i was thinking well if somebody was breaking into my car i would like to know but then i feel like i'm breaking into my car yeah i think we're just gonna probably end the Eat night soon chip no chocolate chip cookies <laughs> <laughs> i also love this molly rack right here i got a knife here my paper towel my light <sighs> gonna end the night here Gonna do it the good old YouTube way. Time to get ready. Hi, baby. Come on, let's go. Hello. Hi. Good morning. How are you doing? So I went over there to ask if anybody's on 82, which is the campsite next to ours. It seems a little more flat. Last night it was okay. Um, it wasn't too bad that I, I was in a slant, but it wasn't comfortable either. <sighs> I messed up again. I forgot to bring the fermented bean sauce for the mapo tofu. So I have all the ingredients, but without that bean sauce, you can't make mapo tofu. So. Dang, man. So I really expect it to be really cold this trip. So basically everything that I brought for food is basically really hot soupy things. Mid to high 70s right now. And I feel like I should have prepared better. But since it's nature, it's really hard to judge what the weather is going to be like. Anyways, I brought some rice. So I'm going to make some porridge. I'm going to make a salted egg and pork porridge. to show you guys the key to making a nice and creamy porridge oil not truffle oil but any oil you would cook with i guess is what i'm trying to say so put a good amount add a little bit of salt and just mix it very well and 
you're supposed to marinate it like this for 15 20 minutes to tell you the truth i don't know the logic behind this but something about the oil marinating it really works if you want to have porridge like super quick within like 20 minutes you can always basically make this wash the rice rinse it have a little bit of water in there marinate it with a little bit of salt and oil keep it in the fridge or no sorry keep it in the freezer and freeze it you can always just take it out put in some boiling water and within 20 minutes maybe even 15 sometimes trust me bring it to a boil let it simmer that's it Hello. Hello. How's the walk? This is my favorite place. Eating nice. during camping is always hot. <sighs> Cheers. Oh, it's hot. Oh, it's hot. It's hot. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I guess we'll just Are have to eat it here. No, I grab a paper towel. <laughs> That's crazy how much porridge mm. comes out of a tiny bit of rice. I know, this is like a quarter cup of rice. I mean, three quarter cups. Mmm. So long. Mmm. I mean, I don't think it'll be Yeah, I agree. Mmm. White pepper. Tourist t-shirts? We'll check out the inside. Because we love Yosemite so much, I'm getting this shot glass. We're gonna get this patch that says Yosemite. This one! Oh, that one's nice. I'm getting this one. You need the diesel? 
The clerk just said that there is some good fishing around here. It looks nice. Oh. I haven't seen any fish yet. So as you saw, I just came from that side, I came over here, and then once I came to this side, it was too slippery to go back. So I don't think it's worth going that way, but then there's no good way this side either. So I might have to just, those locks right there are not supported by anything. So as soon as I put any weight on that, that's just gonna fall. So I think I'm gonna try to just jump in that little bit of sand, I guess. I don't know what that is. I'm just gonna put my stuff in my backpack first. Two, wait, 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 restart, restart. One, two, I don't think I got it. Should I go back? It's super risky because if I fall in that, that's really deep. At least if I fall here, it's not too deep. What if I fall in that? I don't even know if that's solid. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Too much talking. Woo! As you guys saw, that was not worth going back for my little bait. It was just three bucks, it wasn't worth it, but I got the line and at least I'm not harming another fish. I am soaked. Check out this paw print. That's huge. I don't think that's a pet. <laughs> just took a shower down there, went fishing again, there was no fish. Um, my allergies are really bad. So you may or you may not be wondering, how does my road shower work? So I basically fill it up with water and then I use a pump to pump up air to pressurize it. It's kind of loud right now, but this is where the water goes. That's where the air goes. And I just have it hooked up to my goal zero. We got this from H Mart. It is a plant-based bulgogi style fried rice. Spoons be. Spoon? Uh -huh. um, Do we have any spoons? <laughs> Yesterday I felt like there weren't that many flies. Annoying me. You know, I'm in your home, but can you be a little more welcoming? <laughs> <laughs> I am. A little more respectful, please. Stop swarming my food. Mm. Oh no. So you have to reapply? Come get it. This stuff works so well. Don't tell me that I didn't tell you because I did. We both had it on yesterday, no bites at all. Did you get any bites yesterday? Not at all. Not at all. But then earlier, because I got a rinse or a showered and I washed it off of me, I got one afterwards because I didn't reapply. I was like, oh, maybe maybe there's no not a lot of mosquitoes biting. See, I got one bite right here and one on my knuckle. They are out and about and they are ready to eat out <laughs> also not sticky non greasy and no smell at all we are gonna basically chill in the car now it's getting dark we already ate we might not eat dinner i feel like that was a pretty substantial dinner we ate 
We ate a whole tub of kimchi, by the way. I also discovered that because I will always hunch in here. Uh huh. But I can actually sit up, guys. Huh? Would you look at that? I guess I'll come in too. Because we're at a slant right here, these drawers keep coming out. By the way, um, last vlog, last time I asked you guys that. Would you guys like to know how I built it? I was gonna show you, but I feel like this is not the video. I should I should make a, make some time to show you guys how I actually made it. But um, just a heads up, I am gonna take this out because unfortunately there's some mold growing at the bottom. So I will be basically taking this out and making a whole new one. So in the upcoming few vlogs, you guys will see my new setup. But that's what we're working with now. It's pretty simple. It's just a whole box. Um, I guess I could tell you long story short right now, it's that I just built a box, put a middle part right here to support the weight that we're gonna put on the top while we sleep on it. And then just made two drawers, bought these slides on Amazon, and made two little drawers. When you rebuild it, we're gonna put like, I don't know, something? Mm -hmm. Like to, a lock? Yeah, like, put yeah. like a bungee or something to... Mm -hmm. Secure yeah. it so that it stays structured. Yeah, they have some sliders that slides. They have some slides that have the lock on them, but then I don't like the look of that because it it kind of sticks out yellow or blue, and I don't really like the look of that. So I'll think of a a better, more aesthetic idea. Yeah, I did want to show you guys this outdoor first aid kit that I got like five years ago. This is probably not good anymore. I think these things have expiration, right? Yeah, they expired 2020, two years ago. <laughs> so we probably got it like four years ago. But yeah, um, if you guys are into it, definitely get one of these outdoor first aid kits. They're like regular first aid kits, but also things that you would need outdoors too. Like for example, got like poison ivy. yeah, poison ivy cleanser, some antibiotic ointment, sting relief pads, insect protection cream, just a bunch of different Things. I forgot where I got this. It might have been Wal I think it was Walmart. It was Walmart, right? Yeah. Oh, by the way, our lock right now for this is basically my fire extinguisher. Ta da! It is beautiful out oh, here. Yeah. This whole time I didn't walk behind the car or behind our campsite, but turns out this whole area is just wilderness. I mean, this obviously we're in Yosemite, this whole area is wilderness, but I didn't know how big this was behind me. Let me show you guys. This area is like huge, huge. Just open land. It's crazy. But I should be careful though. So yesterday morning, one of our campground or campsites had a bear sighting. So they're up in here. They're for sure up in here and they're not too scared of humans. So I do, I don't have my weapons or I don't have anything on me. So I would just have to scream. Ah! Ah! Help, help. <laughs> Whoa. Look at these pine cones. What the heck? The size of my head. It's crazy to me how big some of these trees are. Like, okay, check this one out. It's huge. Look at that. This is where those tables that are worth thousands of dollars, those companies, they're getting them from here. I don't really know, I'm just saying that, but it seems like it. There's an even bigger one. You see that right there? That is insane. It's like it doesn't end. Literally does not end. Oh, never mind. You wanna go for a walk? I wonder why so many of these trees get chopped down. They're big. They're really big. Wes Elm is listening right now. I mean, look at those. Those are huge. Wait, 
Okay. Yes. Okay. Good girl.